Hello and welcome back to Minecraft 1.19 Chill Let's Play. In the last episode, if you did not watch it, we built this mangrove house in the mangrove swamp. And I am really happy with this. Oh. Uh, hello? Oh, hi. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, no, that, that won't work. Nope. Anyways, welcome back to the series. In today's episode, I think that we need to... Yeah, go down mining, because I have zero resources. I mean, look at my armor. I'm using gold armor. That, no, that won't work. I also need more iron, things like that. So, I think that's a great opportunity to do so. But we have a few issues. One, food is not that great. Second, tool is about to break and I have zero iron on me. And four, wait, no, three, I'm out of wood. And I don't have any more mango wood. So before we head out, I think it's going to be a good idea to set up a little bit of a wood farm over here. We did kind of start to clear out this area in the last episode. I want to clear out this tree, uh, maybe this one and that one as well. And then just plant some oak saplings that we can then use to, well, get some normal oak wood. But just, you know, the inventory, the crafting of chests and whatnot, where it doesn't matter what kind of wood we're using. So, I think just starting to chop some of this down, and then I'll need to go and find some oak saplings. I'm not sure where, <laughs> uh, but it shouldn't be too hard to find, should it? All right, 21 logs, not bad. I'm gonna leave these trees to decay, and while they're decaying, I'm gonna take a look at the sun. Is it going down? I do believe it's going down, but I'm not gonna wait around. I need to get, well, first off, I'm gonna make one chest. Clear some of this inventory, inventory space out, and then I'm gonna go ahead and try and find some oak saplings. I really, really need to very, very soon build some sort of bridge or path to get to the beach, because this <laughs> is absolutely, uh, yeah, not, not efficient at all. Wait a minute. I've been going around this biome the wrong way. You know, traversing the trees might just be quicker. I mean, look at this. Oh, yeah. Using the trees, at least for now, is so much quicker than trying to swim and whatnot. Wow. Now, the type of tree I get doesn't really matter as long as it's something that's easy to jump down. So, oak saplings, uh, oh, I forgot the gold block, you know what, let's stop by for that. Yeah, the, like, oak saplings, birch saplings, spruce saplings, yeah, that kind of stuff. I don't want dark oak, because that's big and, yeah, not, not as fun to chop down. Is that lapis? Excuse me? Remember when there was a trick where when you found lapis, you could just dig straight down and you'd find diamonds? Yeah, I, I kind of missed that. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> and it's turning nighttime. Maybe I should have waited. Or at least brought my bed. You know what? We are living life on the edge here. It'll be fine. Okay, well, this is just another mangrove swamp. But we do have a savanna over here. Oh, that's... That's... That's pretty. Screech out. We have some oak trees here. That should hopefully do the trick. Oh, and some iron too. Nice. I might be able to get an extra pickaxe. Choppy, chop, chop. And then we just need to wait. All right, one sapling, two sapling, and three, four, five. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> That's all I really need. I just want more than two, just, you know, in case I don't get any saplings from the trees I chopped down at home. Uh, yeah, this should be good. All right, heading home. That was a lot easier than going through the actual swamp. Wow. And now, is it going to be safe for me to place these? Probably not. Eh. Eh. That's you taken care of. And you. Oh no, that's the grass. Oh man, not really making this job easier. <laughs> hmm. Well, that didn't quite patch up the hole. You are going to be annoying. Sorry. Nice, and now just place down a few saplings here and there, which will grow eventually. This will also decay eventually, so yeah, we're good. I have six arrows. I suppose I might as well go ahead and make a bow, 
just in case we get in the situation where that's going to be useful. There we go. Nice. I'm actually, you know what, let's make the tools right away because I want the sword and I also definitely want a brand new pickaxe for when we get deeper into the ground. I think, I think I'm ready. So with all that taken care of, it is time to begin our main objective, which is to go down mining and find a deep dark. And to do that, yeah, we need to get out of here. We need to get towards some more mountainous and peaky areas because that's for, that's where I believe it away from what I understand. Deep Dark has a higher chance of generating. So we're going to head in this direction. Oh, well, we were just there today, but we're going to run past this. Um, hopefully, maybe hit the village that we hit in the last episode. Uh, maybe they have some food left leftovers. You never know. We only have 14 bread on us. Maybe we find some animals on the way. Now I haven't actually went very far, but I will be gathering some things like sugarcane, for example. That's a great resource that we will probably want, or that I know that we will want eventually. So I will definitely grab that on the way, as well as any extra food that I can come across. And off to an adventure we go. Maybe we'll even find a desert village or something that we have not discovered yet. Ooh, look at this. I really wish I had water breathing potions or something like that because, yeah, look look at this. This is pretty. Also, there's iron down there. I, I, ooh, I need iron, but it's too slow to mine. Another one down here too. Man. <laughs> Either I need water breathing potions or I need to get some respiration and whatnot armor. I just saw the tip of a desert pyramid. Hopefully maybe there's a village nearby, there might be. But even if not, it will be cover for the night. Oh, I do hear skeletons. Shield out. Check for creepers. We're good. Gone with you. Take it down. Ooh, I have in fact not looted this. Okay, and going with that, let's take a look. We got a diamond. Okay, maybe we don't need to go down. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, nice. I've got to take the bones and the gunpowder. That's probably going to be useful. Another golden apple. Definitely got to take the bones because you never know. More iron. Definitely more welcome. More welcome? No, just welcome. And you know what? TNT can't go wrong. With the TNT. Um, we have discovered a mesa biome. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Not somewhere I think I wanna go. I wanna be where I can Okay, honestly, I think I have I think I've lost the village that we went to in the last episode. Um Yeah, I don't feel like I found a mesa biome last time. That is a beautiful view. Yeah. Village sighted. Looks to be a harbor city as well, or a harbor town, I guess a harbor village. They must, a lot of them, be fishers and trading merchants. Well, at this point, I am just happy that they have plenty of hay bales and hopefully, uh, um, come on, anybody got a spare bed? No? Well, you know what, sorry. Yeah, need to sleep. Okay. Good. Okay, you know what? I think I will take this as my new chambers. I spoke with the folk here and they are completely fine with me borrowing some of their stuff here. So, let's get a crafting table going, a furnace, cook up some of this food. I don't have cobstone. Alright, and we now have quite enough bread for this trip. I'm gonna leave this stuff here. I don't think we'll be using it on our journeys. Well, actually, you know what? I'll bring the golden apples because you never know. And the iron as well for extra tools because this is almost broken. I'm gonna go ahead, mark these screenshots, and we're gonna continue the journey in this direction. Again, the biome type area that I'm looking for are like hills, you know, the biomes that are called stone peaks, something like that. From my understanding, the deep dark and the ancient cities has a higher chance of spawning. I should have taken my boat. Ooh, what do I see in the distance? I see two things in the distance. Th three things, four things in the distance. Ooh, this is exciting. Means that it's a lush biome, lush cave biome, if I were to dig straight down. That is, however, not the deep dark. Of course, it could lead to potentially a deep dark biome, but hmm, this is interesting. I'm gonna once again mark the coordinates because this could be something that we want to get back to at a later date. And I've just spotted another village, but not only that, they have crops 
and a blacksmith. They might have some iron armor. Now I'm excited about the crops because if they have potatoes in either their crops or some of their chests, that would be a good day for me. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Well then, I almost just got full iron from this. And a brand new chest plate too. Wow, okay, I'm gonna store some of my stuff here. Um, in fact, I'm gonna replace these. I'm gonna borrow a crafting table somewhere. I'm gonna get a new pickaxe and a new shovel. Yep, this is gonna be our forward, forward operating base. And with the sun rising, we are heading back out. I kinda wanna go to the mesa. I want to see what the biome says when we're in one of the mesa biomes that is this tall. Maybe there's a deep dark or something nearby. And sometimes in mesa biomes, you find some I was just about to say some pretty good caves. Okay, wooded band lands. Okay, this is dark. And dead end. Yeah, I don't I don't think this is the cave for us. Maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> Alright, shield equipped. Oh, there's I'm here. I'm just gonna quickly grab these resources and we will be on our way again. Oh wow, look at this. Switching from Mesa to... Ooh, that could have been bad. <laughs> that could have been really bad. To this awesome Greenlands. Like, this looks amazing. Also, what do we have over here? Or here for that matter. Oh. Wow, that's a lot of copper here. And dripstone as well. Okay, hold on. This This might be the area. This would be amazing to have like a like a dig site here, or well, not dig site, but like a, like a mining camp or something. Oh yeah, this goes this goes down. Hmm. Well, this is just a, basically a crater. <laughs> okay, hold on. We might be onto something here. Okay, the biome doesn't change from forest to anything with peaks, but I think we should give one of these caves a shot because I think the primary thing for deep dark to spawn. And of course, deep dark and then ancient cities is basically areas with taller terrains. And this is quite tall, so this might not be too bad. And these look, honestly, they look awesome, and I don't want to miss it. I mean, this looks really cool and deep and scary. Redstone? Ooh, okay. Okay, Red redstone. I, I want. Me want. I should definitely leave a trail of arrow. Ooh, deep slate. Wait, that's a geode. That's smooth basalt, I think. Yep, that's a geode. Okay. This is awesome. <laughs> I haven't been down mining properly since the 1.18 update, honestly. I don't think. So this is a new experience for me. Oh, there's a skeleton there. Eh? Yep, that's a geode. Just gotta clear. Uh oh. I wanna get trapped or something. That would be bad. Definitely wanna get all of this iron. I mean, finding some diamonds here would be really cool. What I'm hoping to find, other than the deep dark, of course, is one of those big chambers as well. Like, that would be. That would be cool. I wanna see how easy it is to find diamonds there. People say finding diamonds now are easy. I want to see if that's true. I mean, it probably is. Uh, if I don't find diamonds easily, I probably just have a bad seed or I'm doing it wrong. I thought that was diamonds for a moment. Let's take a look at this geode without falling in the lava. Okay. Well, it does look like some of them are ready to be harvested. Yep. Definitely will take some of them. Well, these two are pretty much the only ones that are ready. Oh, hello. Yeah, I should probably have my shield up. Wait, it goes even deeper. Oh, yeah. Ooh, lapis. Yep. This is pretty deep. This is cool. This is awesome. Lapis, good for enchanting. Something just died. Uh, okay, I don't think I'm quite done on this level just yet. That's a lot of iron that I still want to grab. I just want to get the resources and then not have to worry about getting them at least for a while. That's kind of the point of today's mission. Well, one of the points. <laughs> one thing I just realized is that I should probably have set my spawn 
at the start of the cave. Instead, it's that at that village, which isn't too far away, but <laughs> having spawned closer wouldn't be bad. And I just all of a sudden heard a bunch of zombies. Do we have a spawner back here? Oh yeah, we got a zombie spawner. We got a zombie spawner. That's for sure. Go away, please. Uh, okay. Please die. And go in. Terminate spawner. There we go. I don't like breaking the spawners because you never know if you want to actually use it. The zombie case is a zombie in this case. Ooh, bucket. That's not bad. Redstone. I'll take it. Name tag. That's good. Yeah. Zombie spawner. Not really that useful. Not even for XP. Yeah. Oh no. Nice. Diamonds! Oh, that's so beautiful. Okay, this shade, this shader pack, I love the way it, it lights up the ores. It makes it, first of all, way easier to see, but also it's way prettier as well. It's awesome. Okay, more contacts. That's gonna be a bit trickier. That's just creep back then. That's why I need to light up areas. It's like, you know, those games where you clear, like dungeon games kind of thing, where you clear the things behind you, then you're done with the quest, then you go back the same way you came and all the monsters have respawned because you took too long at some quest or, not quest, like, yeah, place, and then the things were like, you know what, we're gonna respawn now. And our first mined diamond. Unfortunately, that was the only one. Oh well, I'll still take it. This is interesting. What is going on here? Oh, some sort of ravine, I see. Is that diamonds I see? Yep, that's diamonds I see over there. And above me. Oh, multiple. Oh. Ooh, this place is, um... Wait. <gasps> oh boy. Guys. We found the deep dark. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> um, warning, deep dark in the vicinity. I cannot take on a warden. Just saying that right now. <laughs> I don't even have full line armor and it's not even enchanted. This is... Okay. Um, okay, we'll get back to that. I want to make sure that I get all the stuff in this area. Want all the redstone. Definitely want all the diamonds, of course. I gotta find a way of getting up there. Uh-huh. That's so exciting. And scary in a way, just... Uh-oh. Okay, I heard a skeleton. Scary in a way, seeing those skull sensors and you knowing that potentially if you trigger that just one too many times, a warden might come after you. And if you're not well equipped for that and you don't have an escape route, that could be... Yeah. Very bad for you and... Uh, especially if you're in hardcore. Like, I'm not in hardcore, so I'm not as terrified. But if I was in hardcore, I would be terrified of the deep dark. Like, that would not be a place I want to spend my time. Ooh, it goes even further. Okay. I might split this video up in a two-parter. Because I want time to get this, obviously. I don't want to just cut all the mining of this out, because I've... Personally, I like this part, but also I want to properly explore the deep dark. I don't know if we'll go right into an ancient city and explore that. I think we might need a little bit more preparation time, but I definitely won't mind taking a quick maybe peek, at least in the deep dark biome. I mean, I don't even know if there's an ancient city right here, so it is a possibility though. So we gotta be careful. All right. I was here for those diamonds. I should probably pull her up to that. Nyeh. Nice. Just the one. But I mean, so far we got four diamonds, so I think that brings us to a total of... Well, seven, I think, because I think we either have one or two at home. So... We should... We'll be able to make a pickaxe. And possibly an enchantment table. Which means we can actually go to the nether now. That's huge. Oh, more diamonds. Yep. We can definitely do that. Okay.
Oh. Wait, what does this what did this just unlock? What secret passage have I just revealed? Bonus redstone ore, that's for sure. Huh. I mean this is good as well. I'm getting a bunch of levels, so we can actually use an enchantment table when we get to be able to make one. This is a creepy thing as well. I know the deep dark is close, but I don't know exactly how close it is. So there could be a skulk sensor, like close to me without me knowing, that could potentially trigger the warden to spawn. Imagine I found the deep dark and I wander off and I lose it. <laughs> that would be a bit embarrassing. I mean, it's hard to keep track down here in the mines. Like right now, I'm not quite sure where I came from. I think it was, um, oh, yeah, it's right there. Looks like an alien infestation. Infestation? Is that just, it's like spreading through the world? Which I, I guess is the field they went for this when they, when they designed it, because that's the field they, that's the field it has. Like something came through that weird portal in the middle. They managed to close it, but it's too late. It has spread. Or something like that. I really hope they make some sort of dimension out of this eventually. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna put some torches here. Um, think I got everything that I wanted from this place pretty much. <sighs> I think it's time to head in. First contact. Torches out. Shield in. Maybe run in and... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Alright. Do we take the right... What do we take the left? Oh boy. This does have height, but this is more dramatic, so... Alright. Let's head in. Oh... Dear me.